Way to capture a piece of your family history today. But the tireless dedication of numerous volunteers and supporters who've made CHAPS the beacon of historical preservation and uh, in, within Cochrane. A lot of people, when they talk about Cochrane, talk about the history and the undeniable feeling and unique identity of our community. And uh, of course, this wouldn't be possible without the efforts of CHAPS. And point out that we were about to lose one of our very important historic buildings. Now, those of us that lived in Cochrane all our lives, like Ted and I, didn't recognize that it was historic, but it certainly was historic. If it hadn't been for Anne, the old Chapman House on Main Street very well could have been torn down. But Anne got in touch with Lydia Graham, who was mayor at the time, and we decided that we would form this association, which became Shaps. <clears throat> I think Anne was the president, first of all, for a couple of years, and then I took over later on. <laughs> Come on, uh, yeah. These are the people that can. He figures he'll beat them down to the forks and go sliding down the shale. He ties the filly hard and fast, shoes the old mare away, gentles the filly the best he can, working day by day. Talking to you good folk in the lovely garden of Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Davis. And in some kind of time warp, the, his, the grandson is around here. Where is Gordon Davis? Never so pleased as when the hamlet of Mitford became almost abandoned in about 1900. Those wealthy English gentry were no business people those Mitford gentry, and evil with lumber, and then coal to spare. They could never make a go of it. Now we could stop up here, on the flat, by the new houses, several businesses, and two hotels serving the town folk, the mixed farmers up north, and the ranchers down south and the homesteaders, many of which went to Horse Creek. The train had long stopped at the stations in Morley and Glenbo, so all the stations around here were within an easy wagon ride. Oh. A little artistic license to make them all fit there. In the community here, it's meant to get us noticed who we are and how many years we've been here and what we've done for the town. You look back and think, wow, we have done a lot. And now we're planning to try and duplicate that in the next 25 years for the next volunteers that come in. 